All right, today it's how to take down Venom. Now, before we go into the arena, some things you should know. This guy can be a little bit of a gear check for people who are on their first uh, playthrough of the campaign. So you can feel a little trapped here because the checkpoint here isn't a travel stone, but you also may feel unequipped for the fight. So before you get here, a couple things you need to know. If you really want to have uh, the best chances of success here, you need to bring ammo crates. I did not have them for this fight, so I'm going to show you how to, how to get ammo on the battlefield. It's a little more challenging if you have to do it. But if you bring ammo crates, you don't have to worry about it. Boom. Second thing, you want to have damage over time status effects in your arsenal somewhere. So whether that's an ability or a mod on your gun or the gun itself, if you can apply a damage over time effect on this boss, that's going to be great because your damage windows are sometimes very limited and you have to spend a lot of time dodging attacks with this guy. So if you can apply damage over time effects to him that you can just apply and then leave it and let it do its work, that's going to help you out in the long run. So Venom, let's talk about his uh, move sets. So he's going to be spawning these spears constantly throughout the, the fight, okay? And these spears that come up through the ground, they do two things. One, they will launch like mortars. They'll glow red and then they'll launch projectiles at you that are just extra things that you have to dodge on the battlefield, which can be a challenge if you're already using stamina dodging Venom's attacks. The second thing they do for you is if you break them before they turn red, uh, or before, the, before they start shooting things, then you can actually get ammo drops off of these spears. So that's how you get ammo on the battlefield. And you'll see me breaking those spears from time to time when I need ammo. Beyond that, if he's up in the air, give a wide berth to all of his attacks. They have big AoEs. The big fireball, when it lands, it creates a big damaging field. If he shoots the uh, barrage of three glowing rocks at you, they are explosives. So if they touch you, they will detonate uh, after a couple of seconds. So if one attaches to you, start spamming dodge because you can actually get immunity frames during that explosion if you time that dodge properly. When he's finished being in the air, he's going to throw his uh, scythe, his sword, at you. And it does big damage. There's a part later in the fight where I don't properly did that right there. And then he's going to rush to it and do an AoE slam. So you have to dodge that. There's a part later in this fight where I, I actually miss time my dodge and I, I take that attack and it hurts big time. And then he does this right here. Boom! See how that gets me? He does a ton of damage. So he has this combo where he goes stab, stab, big wind up, and long stab. So before, if, he, if you see him doing that big wind up, you want to dodge laterally, not backwards. Because if you do what I just did there, you're going to take a ton of damage. And that right there. So if you go to the side and avoid that attack, you'll be all right. That attack does a big damage too. Kind of similar that right there. It's similar to what Cancer does. So, but with his, you can stand in it and dodge it uh, and not take any damage. You don't have to backpedal it. So he has this other attack where he's going to go up into the sky and start raining down like Armageddon style these spears from the sky, and they do a ton of damage. And it's similar to a, a lot of other, this right here, similar to a lot of other bosses have effects like this, where the ground will glow telling you exactly where the damage is going to be applied. What I recommend here is don't sprint. Initially, I was just sprinting around the map avoiding those. Take it easy, go slow, see where they're going to spawn and dodge roll out of them. That way you have more stamina for when he uh, follows up that attack by coming down and attacking you directly because his attacks do a ton of damage. He has long wind-ups for big damage. This is sort of his joust attack, where he'll sort of like hover towards you with his sword out in front of him, and after he swipes, he'll then do an AOE uh, pulse around him. So he'll always follow that up. I was getting a little uh, reckless here because I knew it, I hadn't used my challenger skill yet, so I, I let myself get hit a couple of times, and I know I have a lot of uses left on my artifact, so boom! He's toast. Best thing you can do with him is not dodge early. If you dodge early, you're gonna have a problem because a lot of his attacks are combos. If you get hit by one, you're gonna get hit by the next and that can take you from full health to dead in just a couple of seconds and ruin your entire run. Another thing I tried, my whole build, I have a lot of uh, melee synergy with my melee weapon so I can do big damage with my melee weapon. So I tried that approach with him too and just doing neutral dodges up close. But melee damage, he does not take a lot of melee damage. Like melee attacks are not effective against this guy. 
So I don't recommend that you do that because I learned the hard way, just swinging away. And I'm seeing like 100 damage, 100 damage. I'm using this giant broadsword. So I don't recommend that. So best of luck to you when uh, taking this guy down. He, he's a bit of a challenge, Venom, So and a bit of a gear check. So hopefully if you come prepared and you understand this moveset's better, you'll be all right. Best of luck to you. Bye-bye.